Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Anna Money Stocks. Today is August 17, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading down a little bit. They're down five and a half points right now to 24.62 per contract. All in all, they were a little bit lower. You can see the futures are starting to get a little bit of a lift. Yesterday was really a flat market for the most part. The major indexes did eke out a little bit of a gain. So we'll see what today brings. Tomorrow is options expiration. We'll see if we get a little whipsaw in the tape today. But uh, either way, uh, be on your toes. This is still an options expiration week. We still have quite a bit of earnings that are coming out. Today we have Alibaba front and center. Stock is riding high. Closed at $159.50 yesterday. Reported earnings this morning before the opening bell. Soared all the way up towards this $172 level before backing off. Still trading around $168.31 at the moment. So great move there, but this is very overbought. And what I mean by that is if you just take a look at a monthly chart. Now this is a very big time frame compared to the chart we were just looking at, which was just 10 minutes. But you can see here, this is parabolic now, and it's all the way up to this level. So again, um, Alibaba, great move, great stock. It's doing very, very well. But if you own it, you want to trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, you kind of just leave it alone at this stage of the game. This stock has been probably the best performer of 2017, if you ask me. Next up, we want to take a look at another behemoth, Walmart. Big, big retail name. Stock closed yesterday at $80.98. It is trading at $78.79. So Walmart coming down a bit. I'm going to have some levels for Walmart today. I'll have those posted up in the intraday stock chat room. We will be looking to play this name today. Have some pretty solid levels, some good good um, support points here. So we're going to watch Walmart. But right now it is getting hit a little bit. Yesterday Target came out with uh, earnings. Stock held up pretty well. And it's holding up okay right now. Let's take a look at Cisco Systems. CSCO. Yes, this is the networking stock, not the food company. Cisco, big name in the 90s if you traded back then. You can see this is trading at $31.33. Closed at $32.34. So down about a buck. I'm going to have gap levels for this one as well. Post it up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 o'clock. So if you haven't done so, come on over. Take the 7-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see what it's all about in there. You get to watch our desktops live. Get all of our gap plays before the market even opens. Next up, we're going to take a look at LB, which is L Brands. And what you're going to see here is this is trading at $36.30. Closed at $39.55. This is not a pretty sell-off. Another retailer getting pounded today. And um, all I'm seeing right now is a level around $29.50. Gets down to that level. I do like it there. Until then, I'm really not looking to do a whole lot. There may be a little support at $35. I don't really love that level anymore. But uh, $29.50, I think that's a play. So if it gets there, that would be my level for LB today. Let's take a look at SNPS, which is Synopsis. Stock right now is trading at $78. Closed yesterday at $79.09. We're not going to make too much out of this. If it does sell off, though, keep $74 on the radar. Could be $74.15. Right around there should be a very, very good level today if it does get there. Uh, if it goes lower than that, we'll look at it in the intraday stock chat room as well. Let's take a look at NTAP, NetApp. And what you're going to see here is this closed at $42.41, now trading at $41.35. So this is down ticking. And um, again, I'm going to try to have a level here for this one. I see a couple spots that will interest me. I'll have those posted up at 9 a.m. But NetApp, under pressure. Right off, right out of the gate here. So we're going to see if this can sell off a bit. If it does, we should get a nice little gap play in this name. Let's take a look at BKE, which is Buckle. This is a again an apparel company retailer. Uh, they make accessories for clothing. Stock right now trading at fourteen dollars and thirty cents. I think it's going to be um, once the opening bell rings, we'll see this thing move. So keep it on the radar if you are interested. If you're not. Don't worry about Buckle, but again, it, it will be in play today. Hershey, Hershey, HSY, I believe, received an upgrade today. Stock is trading at 106.52, but no volume behind it. So again, don't make much out of that move. We'll see how it plays out 
once the opening bell rings today. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is getting a pop today, trading up $7.20 to $1,290 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, that's trading at 122.10, closed at 121.87. So gold had a good move yesterday after the FOMC minutes, and um, <clears throat> we'll see how it plays out today. But gold on the move again this morning. Let's take a look here at the Oil market, crude oil trading down 18 cents to $46.60 a barrel. Oil was hit yesterday pretty hard. Today, trading down just ever so slightly. Here's the USO, which is a good oil ETF. This is trading at $9.95, just two pennies shy of where it closed yesterday at $9.57. So again, we're not going to make too much out of oil just yet, but energy stocks really took it on the chin yesterday. They were very, very weak. We'll see how they play today. We'll see if they're in motion and possibly we get some trades there as well. All right, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Once again, if you have not done so, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we're doing in there, having a great 2017. Going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. And now we are in the second half where we're getting more volatility. You should get more trade action. Have a great session, everyone, and we will see you on the charts.